Salesforce Space Station. Hi everyone, on this video I'm going to teach you how to mass update records using scheduled flow. Uh, this is uh, useful um, especially when it comes to um, doing a quick mass update wherein you already have the parameters of which records you wanted to um, update. So for example, you wanted to update uh, opportunity on um, close one stage and you can you, you can just use that as a parameter to mass update uh, mass update those records instead of extracting all the um close one opportunities using a um data import or data export tool and reloading back uh, reloading them back again to update those records so uh just to eliminate that process that that tedious process you can use scheduled flow instead so um yeah let's dive into it to create that scheduled flow, just go to uh, setup and then uh, go to flows. Then once you are here, uh, create a new one. Schedule triggered, uh, choose scheduled triggered flow and click on create. So by the way, on this video, I'm going to show um, the mass, up, mass update on account records. So I already have the account records that I wanted to update, which are these ones. So I just put a filter wherein um, all con all accounts um, under customer direct type will be um, will be shown in this list view. And then that's uh, that's also the parameters that I'm going to set to update this uh, accounts. So going back to the scheduled flow, uh, just put the date in, just today. And then uh, put the time on when the scheduled flow will be triggered. Usually, um, I will just put it five minutes or a minute after I, 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 uh, I save and activate the flow um, to uh, uh, for it to execute the, uh, those actions. So currently, it's um, 5.08 p.m. on my clock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put 5.15 p.m. And then just run it only once since i don't want this to run um i, I don't want this to be a, a recurring um process click on done and then choose object uh, again this is only optional as per the um, note there but i'm going to put account and then as i have mentioned the parameter is type will be equals to customer direct so this this uh, process will only uh, will already filter the accounts that it will update based on that parameter that we set. So it will not update all accounts. And then from here, I'm going to um, put my action. So uh, uh, for this video, I'm going to update them. So update account records. And then yeah, just use the record that triggered. And I'm going to put here text. This is a custom field that I created uh, for this um, video. And then the value, uh, what I can do here is just put um, direct value. Uh, this is the lemma. For example, I can just do that or I can also reference um, other fields that has a lookup field in the account record. So for example, let's go to record just the account and then all of this are the uh, lookup fields so you, you can you can uh, you can uh, manipulate the value of what needs to be updated for example if it's a combination of um, if you're trying to update a specific date value on the opportunity and you want it to be calculated based on um, start date plus 30 to calculate the close date can do that by by using this um this uh method and uh, you can also put a formula value use formula resource here and then yeah you, you, you can be crazy about it uh customize it as much as you want uh was based on the value that you wanted to be populated or change in that specific record so as you can see there are a lot of possibilities where you can use this 
you can um you can you can you can you can use this on a lot of um data fields a lot of values can be populated even custom ones um if you want it to be auto calculating fields you can do that as well just just populate the formula or create the formula correctly but for this specific test i'm just going to put um a street text which is this is test demo so click on done what i'm expecting is come 5 15 pm today four minutes from now um the text field here will be populated so that's the goal now i'm going to click on save scheduled flow mass update click on save and then click on activate Now, in order to monitor uh, this scheduled flow, you can go back to setup and then search for scheduled jobs. And from here, you can see that this is being queued and waiting to be executed at the time that you um, configure the flow. So let me just refresh this. And this uh, specific scheduled flow should be available in the scheduled the job section waiting to be executed so you can see it's here scheduled flow mass update and uh i submitted it around 5 11 and it will be run on 5 15. so uh yeah just to reiterate while we, while we are waiting for that time to be executed uh a lot of um a lot of customizations and um possibilities you, you you can do with this mass update instead of the traditional extracting uh Im importing and exporting the records wherein you need to manipulate those records uh in an excel sheet you need to update uh the, the, them manually the, the field values manually you can just do this uh scheduled flow instead so it's a very um unique way or fast way, and also a fast way uh for you to update those records So yeah, let's just wait for um, two minutes more and we should be seeing the updates happening on the account records. When uh, when using this uh, as well, um, be uh, please be advised that it's still um, subjected for the Salesforce overall governor limits. So, for example, um, you want to update all accounts in the system, regardless, uh, without any, uh, without any um, parameters or filter criteria. So, if you have, for example, hundred thousand of records in the in the system, uh, it will still be subjected to governor limit. So, you might need to filter it as much as you can to only update the records that needs to be updated. And for example, the, the number of records that needs to be updated really exceed the governor limit. I would suggest uh, do, a, do a loop counter here that will count the number of records being processed and set it to like 2,000 records or 5,000 records to be processed. After that, it will stop and then it will trigger again. So th those are the uh, workaround that I'm, that I'm um, thinking of when doing the mass update on thousands and thousands of records because it will definitely hit uh, the, the governor Salesforce governor limit at some point, especially yeah, when when there's a lot of records. So uh, you can you can put the the hard stop on 10,000, 5,000 records, and then just uh, do it again uh, for the remaining ones. All right, so yeah, it's already 515. Um, it should be gone here on the scheduled jobs since it's already executed. Yep, it started already, 5.15. And as you can see here, there's no scheduled run because we set the flow to only run once. Here, frequency once. And I'm expecting that the text field here will be updated. There you go. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope this video helped you guys on how uh, understanding on how to use the scheduled flow on mass updating records. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.
Jotenkin. Salesforce Space Station. 